After spending eight years with an inflammatory bowel disease, you learn to live with it. But then, at that eight-year mark, another wrinkle gets thrown in. You're at increased risk of developing colorectal cancer. I can't say that I'm not nervous about it. That's Jonathan Miller, a 28-year-old salesman in Chicago. He was diagnosed eight years ago, so he's just entering that era of heightened risk. Whatever happens is going to happen, and when I get there, I'm going to deal with it. I'm trying to eat right, trying to work out. It's all about keeping my IBD under control. If I'm experiencing something like fatigue, nausea, diarrhea, I'm going to talk to my doctor because that could be a normal flare-up, or it could be something more. He's got the right idea because the formula for minimizing your colorectal cancer risk is first to control your IBD and then to make sure you and your doctor are vigilant about monitoring for cancer. And that's a challenge when things are going well. Here's Dr. Jeannie Ashburn from the Cleveland Clinic. It's very easy to look at that patient and say, we're doing a great job at controlling their symptoms and their flares, but what goes hand in hand with that is these patients have an increased risk for developing a cancer down the road, or even in the short term, and we need to survey them and make sure we're staying on top of that. The key risk factors are the duration and severity of the disease, and also genetics. It's important to stick to your meds, control flare-ups, and have regular checkups that focus on cancer surveillance, as well as a colonoscopy every one to two years. The benefit of doing this routinely is that we can pick up on surveillance abnormal cells that may alert us to either a precancerous lesion or a cancer itself. Diagnostic technology is improving, helping doctors catch problems early. Last week, for example, doctors discovered a polyp on the colon of Missy O'Doherty, a senior at the University of Denver. I ended up going to the hospital because I was just having IBD symptoms. It was so severe, something I never felt before. And there was the polyp. Her doctors don't yet know if it's precancerous, but still, it was unwelcome news. I definitely had a breakdown and was pretty upset. I was bawling and just saying, why? Like, this is not fair. Like, why does this have to happen to me? But the good news is that it was caught early, and now Missy and her doctor have time to make the best choice. I don't want to get to a point where we've waited too long and then we go in and see that it's really severe. Like, I'd rather have my colon removed than have really severe cancer. <laughs> Missy was back at the gym this morning working out and by afternoon was helping her sorority recruit new members. She's managing her cancer risk just like her IBD with determination, discipline, and practicality. I think it's only going to slow me down as much as I let it, just like IBD. 